Hello, you all. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the first fucking video here, okay? Um, For this event here in this playlist on this channel, okay? So, um, this video will be for everyone, okay? For everybody. Because this is the number zero. And like I explained in the um video, right? In the previous video, um, for this, well, you know, for this, uh, event and within this playlist i've explained that the full card represents everything spirit right everything that is spirit so this represents the spirit of a human being this represents the spirit the soul the essence of a being okay so yeah hold on yes there we go a little bit better it represents the essence of a being, okay? This fool card. It represents that. So, this is for anybody. And, um, I would just like to say real quick that I appreciate you all so much for the likes, the comments, the, um, subscribes. Like, it means the world to me. Do not forget to turn the notification bell on, though. And if you are, um, someone that is new go ahead and subscribe and turn the notification bell on right now and if you are not you know what i'm saying like new to the channel but you still haven't subscribed nor turn that notification bell on please do so all right let's get it popping let's get it cracking um yeah so anyways definitely this one can be for anybody and like i stated in the um in the like overview of this event Okay, the overview video for this event. Um, this, uh, this card. Wait, what was I about to say? I just had a brain fart and lost what the fuck I was about to say. Ah, anyways, let's just go ahead and get into it, okay? So we're going to get three cards, okay? Obviously. Oh, that's what I was about to say. Um, there's three cycles. There's going to be three cycles for, um... You know, us going throughout the um, Major Arcana. So we're going to go throughout the Major Arcana three times. So this is our first cycle, first time. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to um, we gonna go ahead and get into the different groups. All right. So here I have some more art pieces for my grandma. Okay. Um, like I said, when we get the... Um, when we get the uh, website ready, we I'm going to be linking them in uh, the description box below. Even these videos, I'm going to link them in the description box below when we get the uh, website ready. But this is for group one, okay? This is for group one. Uh, this is beautiful. These are pieces that I bought from my grandma, too. Yeah, this is for group one, okay? This piece here... Is for group two. Got it just so cute. She definitely, definitely did her shit on this. <laughs> Took her time. Okay. This is for group two. Group two, you guys. Group two. And this beautiful piece here is for group motherfucking three. Okay. Group three. This piece is for group three. So the time steps will be in the description box below. All right. Hello, my group number ones. If you chose this piece here, then this is you all's reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. So um, for all three of the groups, okay, this is going to be the card, right? Um, and we know that this is, excuse me, this, these uh, readings, uh, it's going to be connected to the age. Now, the reason why I say this is for everybody because this is referring to the spirit, like I said, with the number zero here. Um, with this being that essence type of energy, this is referring to your spirit, okay? This is referring to your spirit. So, this is messages for everybody, anybody. This is just free, like, messages, okay? So, let's see. 
Um, what is what what are the messages from your soul and your spirit at this time? We're gonna get five cards from this tarot deck and then um put them in my mixed six spread. Okay, so get six cards and put them in my mixed six spread, and then I'm gonna get a card from each one of these oracle decks right here. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, and see. What is, what is it? What's the messages that your spirit is giving you at this time? It's the first card. Okay. Hold on. Oh, I need to find some space. Okay, yeah. Let me put this down here. It's the um, first card. Okay. We need five more cards, spirit. Actually, I'm not going to shuffle on camera. I'm going to shuffle off camera. All right. We are back. I got all your cards. Okay. So we already know that. The full card represents, you know what I'm saying, spirit. It represents new beginnings, the potential of, the potential of, right? Birth, all those sorts of things, new beginnings, new starts. What's funny about it for you all is that y'all, in one of the Oracle cards, got the full card to come back the fuck out. We're going to get into that shit after we tap into these tarot cards, though. Okay, this we're tapping into that after we tap into these tarot cards, okay? So we have it in my uh, mixed six spread, okay? So this first position here is going to tell us basically the message, okay? The one and done type of message. What is it that um, your spirit is trying to tell you? Then here uh, it's the second placement. It's going to give us the importance of this message, right? Your third card here is going to give us, you know, basically tell us, like the protagonist antagonist energy um you know what i'm saying here and some uh advice to deal with that energy with those energies or with, with the energy of whatever this card is this fourth card is going to tell us the benefit of the message the benefit of hearing this message right now for you all and then this fifth card is going to tell us the transformation that's going to come the potential transformation that could come from you are applying this message to your lives. And then the sixth card is here finally. That's going to give us advice over the whole message, right? And then we got the Oracle cards and the teens over here. All right. So let's go ahead and flip the cards over. So we have the King of Swords here for my group number ones. This is the message that's coming through from your spirit. Okay. The message that's coming through from your spirit or your higher self, you can even say. Um, is to be clear-minded, make clear decisions, continue to make clear decisions. I'm already, because with this being a core card, I'm getting that this is energy that you all are already embodying. Um, to, so basically, continue to have a clear mind. There is ideas, there is beauty, there is creation that is waiting to be birthed, especially with the full card coming out twice for y'all reading there is creativity that's trying to be birthed here with these uh, butterflies being here at the top. Definitely, there is um, creation here. Let me see. Let me turn this um, flash on. Okay, flash is on. Great. There's potential here. Now, um, definitely the message is to hold your ground and to cut out everything that is not serving you at this time. There's a lot of new energy that's coming in and there's a lot of shit that y'all need to cut out, right? Um, whatever time that y'all hearing this reading, okay? What y'all need to do, what's being, um, what the message that's being brought through is basically about how you've been handling things mentally, okay? So let's go ahead and see what is the importance of this message. Oh, wow, the magician. Okay. All right. We have a magician. Definitely. The importance of this king of swords, the importance of your mind, the importance of you embodying this clear-minded, very uh, determined, and uh, what is the word? Uh, embodying this purpose, uh, this person that knows their purpose, that, ha that walks in definiteness of purpose, right? The importance of this is that you all have the, the reason why this is important, basically, for you all to embody this energy is because you all have all the resources that you all need right now. Y'all are in the perfect position to create whatever the fuck you desire. 
Y'all have had this energy for a long fucking time, as you can see here with this, um, as you can see here with this uh, infinity symbol over her head. Yeah, definitely. This is the one element that they uh, that your higher self is telling you to tap into. So use your brain. Visualize. Start visualizing things. Start speaking things into existence. Writing them down. You know what I'm saying? This is what we're giving. This is what it's giving here. Right? Let's see. What is um, for this third placement? We have the nine of pentacles, right? So this is earth energy. Opposite of air, right? So definitely something that can get you into the groove of this magician energy here um that your spirit is trying to bring to your attention is the nine of pentacles being content with where you are um definitely showing gratitude that's what's going to anchor in um that higher vibration and what's going to give what you're trying to manifest fuel um and in a way a turbo boost towards your ass okay you're going to start seeing things just start materializing in your world a lot quicker when you start showing appreciation and raising your vibration and showing that you are content and happy with all that you've manifested so far and with where you are at right now, okay? The benefit of tapping into this energy and um, this message that your higher self or that, you know what I'm saying, um, your spirit is giving you. Is the Eight of Pentacles. Very interesting. Real quick, I have to come back to this Nine of Pentacles. Definitely, if you all are not tapped into um, this energy of gratitude, this definitely could hinder and slow you down from manifesting whatever it is that you're trying to manifest at this time, okay? Um, definitely. So definitely what you should do is tap into this energy. Um now, when it comes down to the benefit, money, working, money. You, there's a lot to profit from this, right? It went from the nine to the eight. There's a lot to profit. And it's been nothing but air and earth energy so far, okay? Air and earth energy. There's a lot of things going on with the mind as well, as you can see, right? We have the butterflies here over her head. We have this bird here sitting on her hat. Then we have this affinity symbol over her head. Definitely. The one, the, the key right here for you all is to get you all's mind um, aligned with your, uh, with whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. When you get your mind, because you have everything else I'm hearing aligned already. You have everything else aligned already. All that's left is your mind to get your mind. So what I'm getting is that it it may even be it, it definitely could be your subconscious mind. OK, um, but what I'm really kind of getting is that it's your conscious mind. It's your practicality, especially with all this earth being here. Right. It's your practicality getting in the way. Um, you're being a little bit too practical, a little bit too logical. Um so the benefit of this message is to help you work on building a stronger foundation for your mind. One that is built up upon faith, right? Build up upon faith in yourself and in the powers and the gifts that is you. And also in the higher realms. Because as you can see, as above, so below. You already believe in below. You know that hard work pays out, that you can get it done. You know what I'm saying? However, whatever it is you're trying to manifest is very huge and it requires the um, assistance of the universe, of God or whoever else that you believe in, okay, that is in spirit form. It requires their help and their energy. However, you know, your faith has been tried lately, which is why the message here is coming up as the king of swords, okay? Definitely to ground your mind, to become so clear um, in your vision, in your dream, in what it that, in whatever it is that you desire to um, manifest, to have such clarity that there's nothing that can shake you, okay, from going on the path of manifesting whatever it is that you desire, okay. Now, this card is going to tell us what type of um, tra transformation, definitely, 
or the potential transformation. My bad, the potential transformation. And we have the Six of Cups here for y'all, right? So definitely, there's a potential um, transformation that you um, can undergo and go through here is one where you can speak to your um, inner child, right? Kind of like how your spirit or your higher self is speaking to you right now. You can speak to your inner child um, and let your inner child know that, hey, it's okay to come back out. Because what I'm getting here is that there's this energy that you all um, may used to be very, 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 very um, imaginative, right? You still may even be so. However, when you... When you were a child, your imagination was unique. And it was perfect. It was unique and perfect in its own little way. However, I'm hearing that there is some people that may have talked you down. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, spoke against your dreams and your imagination and what it was that you um, felt to be true in your reality. They spoke down upon it, which kind of made your inner child, right? Or your imagination kind of step back within, you know what I'm saying? And it kind of built off, um, you kind of built up like this very strong like wall here with all these pinnacles here, right? Um, literally, it's a wall right here, <laughs> okay? Um, you built a wall to protect your um, yourself from being hurt, right? So, some of you all may be callous within the mind, right? When it comes down to either um, being open-minded, right? When it comes down to being like open-minded, some of you all could um, struggle between, you know, using your imagination and being like narrow vision or, you know, being open-minded. I mean, you know, being like closed-minded, you know what I'm saying? And what I'm getting here is that the potential transformation is that you will give the mic back to you all's inner child. You all are let your inner child know. You know what I'm saying? That, hey, it's okay. We can work together. It's all right for you to come back out again. My imagination, I love you. You know what I'm saying? The inner child, that's the problem with a lot of people today. A lot of, so much shit is so serious that a lot of people forget to just have fun. Be childish. I get in that um, the book, that book, uh, what that Bi the Bible, it says, um, you know, when I was a child, I thought as a child. However, when I was, you know, when I grew up and became an adult, I put away childish things. It's okay to step. There's a time and a place for everything. You don't have to put it away, right? You don't have to put it up on the shelf and let it collect dust. No. You know what I'm saying? Because that's you basically putting away your essence. I mean, because the full card represents children as well, if you think about it. I mean, even here, you got children. The full card represents your essence, spirit, which is why when babies are born, they can see spirits and they are connected most to the spirit realm. Because, you know what I'm saying? They spirit hasn't been tainted by the lower vibrations of this world. Their imagination hasn't been tainted, Okay. Now, here with the advice, we have the Six of Cups. Look, tap into your imaginations. Come on, bro. Six to the seven. Tap into your imagination. Oh, yeah. That's the advice. Tap into your imagination. What do your heart desire? Go after it. Follow your dreams, right? And pay attention to your dreams as well, too. Definitely. This is the message that's coming in through for uh for you all. Um group one. Okay. Yeah, definitely with the full card being here. Like I said, it came out twice. Definitely you all need to tap into you all's inner child once more. Yeah, because the energy that y'all get that y'all got right now is kind of ancient. Like the knowledge of like granted, y'all are high, highly intelligent fucking beings. All right, y'all have Y'all been tapping into some knowledge that's been ancient. Knowledge from ancient times, right? Y'all been channeling that type of shit. Like, y'all are some beasts. 
I gotta let y'all know. I gotta give you y'all props. You know what I'm saying? And y'all have done all of this through, you know, this very serious type of energy. You know what I'm saying? Through digging, through research, through investigating, all of those type of things. You know, just through like serious type of energy, period. However, you all haven't been having time to tap into you all's um, playful energy. And I can hear some of y'all in the back. Yes, I have. I've been trying to balance it. Well, you know what I'm saying? Your spirit is here to speak to you all and let you all know that you need more. You need more of your inner child to come out. You need more playtime. You need more free time. You need more time to just do what it is that you want to do. Just dance. Just shake. Just shake off that seriousness. You need to step away from that serious energy for a second or at least make time throughout each and every day for you to just enjoy something, right? That you all loved when you was all when you all was your child. You know what I'm saying? To just do something that brings your inner child out, right? We got don't stop loving here, right? Don't stop loving. I'm also hearing don't stop believing. Damn. I'm hearing don't stop believing. Okay, hold on. Let me pause real quick while I get my life in order. <laughs> Yeah, so like I said, I'm definitely here and don't stop believing. Don't stop loving. Don't stop dreaming, okay? Like I said, follow your heart. What comes from the heart? Your emotions um, and love, right? What's connected to the heart chakra? Love. So connecting with you all's heart chakra as well, too. You know what I'm saying? Connected to what it is that you all love. What light, lights you up? What, you know, gives you all energy? What makes you radiate? Right. Let's read this full card real quick. Um, new beginnings, opportunity and potential um, is what this full card is all about. Have an open mind, open, curious mind. What the fuck did I say? I just said that earlier. Have an open, curious mind and a sense of excitement. Right. Serious energy isn't really excited energy. It's very focused, very grounded, very just kind of dense and heavy and thick energy. Right. It says the time is now. Take the leap of faith. Even if you don't feel like you're 100% ready or equipped for what is coming, this is a time of great potential and opportunity for you right now. Relax. Relax. Play and have fun. Come on now. Let go of dread, worry, and self-doubt in your life now. Okay? So definitely get out of your own head is what I'm also hearing. Start mastering your thoughts. All right. That's another message. Yeah. And also with this ancient card, I'm hearing that it's been a long time that you all have since you all like truly, I mean, truly not that bogus ass shit, truly relaxed, played and had fun. You know what I'm saying? That's what your spirit is yearning for. That is what your spirit is dying for right now. That is what it is fucking asking you to do give let let's relax let's play let's have fun please bitch damn let's not play um uh, but for real it's been it's been a long time you know what i'm saying it's been ancient okay longer than it should have been okay but with that being said that is all i'm getting for you all love like peace power and abundance okay lighten up ashe amen and period Hello, group two. If you all chose this beautiful art piece, then this is going to be you all's reading. So what we're going to do is shuffle, okay? Six cards from, um, shuffle and get six cards from here. Put them in my mixed six spread, okay? And then we're going to get um, one card from each one of these Oracle um, decks over here, all right? And I'm going to shuffle off camera for the sake of time. All right, we are ready. So something I want to say real quick is that um, this card for uh, the third placement, okay, revealed itself, which is the Queen of Cups, okay? Um, and secondly, I also want to say that over here when I was shuffling the Oracle cards, a message that I got was remember who you are. And I also envisioned that scene from uh, Lion King, the original one, the, the cartoon one, when Simba 
was um like I guess in like in the grasslands or something and he was looking up and um his father came to him in the uh clouds and uh told him remember who you are right that scene right there I got that I just felt like my third eye do something or maybe it was my crown chakra I don't know I feel like it kind of opened up so there is something that your spirit wants you to open up um to and that it wants you to remember. So what I'm hearing is that your spirit wants you to open up to something because it's going to help you remember who you truly are, especially with the Queen of Cups being here, water. Um, and then this is connected. The Queen of Cups to me definitely gives me Cancerian vibes, okay? The nurturing mother type of energy. Um, and we know that Cancer is connected to the moon and the moon, uh, an aspect of the moon is memory, Right? So definitely remembering who you are. I feel like it's it may be in like a past life or an Akashic record or something as well. Um yeah. Something like that. But I know that's what I was getting from that. Anyways, definitely um let's get into these cards, okay? So this first card is gonna tell us basically the overall message, right? That you're a spirit. He's saying spirit because it's a fool card. That your spirit, okay, is trying to tell you. Like the one and done type of card. You know what I'm saying? The overall message. What is your spirit trying to tell you? The second card here is going to give us the importance of that message. Why this message is so important for you all to hear right now when you're watching this video. This third card is basically going to tell us, like, you know, the energy that could potentially um, help you, okay, that can potentially help or harm you. You know what I'm saying? Um, at this time, when it comes down to this message and um, where you are at in your life. This fourth card is going to tell us the benefit of um, listening to this message, tapping into the energy of this message, and applying this message to you all's life. This fifth card is going to tell us the potential transformation that you can um, undergo once you all, you know what I'm saying, once you all like tap into this message and adhere to it. And this last card here is going to give us the advice over the whole message. Okay. So your first card is the eight of wands. Okay. So definitely what you all spirit or higher self is trying to tell you is that there is hella fucking messages from the higher realms that is um, being sent to you. However, you all probably aren't focused on them. You all probably hear them, see these messages, signs, and synchronicities. However, you're still distracted or still, you know what I'm saying, um, going on about your business. You know what I'm saying? Probably just like looking at the, hearing a message or hearing like your spirit guides or your higher self like tell you something or your intuition definitely tell you something. However, you know what I'm saying? It's like you you heard it, but you didn't listen to it, right? It caught your attention, but you didn't, but you didn't dive into it like you were supposed to. You didn't at at, at um at uh hear to it, or either you didn't um acknowledge it. There we go. Now it's definitely messages coming from the higher realms. Um, because we have space. Oh, damn, that says pace. We have space. And then we have star seed here. So definitely, y'all ass are some star seeds up in this bitch, okay? Also, um, there is a message from the higher realms, okay? These higher dimensions. Um, not just a message. There's multiple messages. Your spirit, your intuition, your higher self is trying to get your attention, that's what this message is. It's trying to get your attention. There's something There's something about yourself, about your past, possibly a past life that you all um, need to remember, right? And it's funny how it seems like you all are, um, this is you all and it's facing this um, Queen of Cups. And I already said that the energy that I'm getting from that Queen of Cups is like the moon type of energy, definitely like past life or memories type of energy, right? Anyways, though, it seems like they're trying to catch your attention before you go down a specific path or a same path that you all uh, went down before earlier on in your life or 
in a past life, right? So let's see here. What is the importance of this message? King of Pentacles, okay? So definitely, the reason why um, they're trying to get your attention is because they're trying to slow you down, okay? As you can see, you, you flying like a motherfucker with that dust behind you, right? However, here in this King of Pentacles, you are seated. You're on your throne. you wearing your crown. You are in your own empire. You are ruling your kingdom, right? Oh, shit. Uh, I just got something. It seems like you all are trying to run from this energy. The reason... Oh, okay. I, I, I get it now. It seems like... You all may have been feeling like this anxiety or like this anticipation type of energy as of late, right? And what we're getting here um, is that that energy, added, some of you all may be Tauruses or any of the earth signs, but, you know, this is given Taurus with these bulls. But anyways, um, or Cancers, okay? Anyways, like I said, the... You are the energy. You all can feel a huge change about to happen. You know what I'm saying? And this change is about to take y'all um, and place y'all upon y'all throne. That's what y'all don't know, though. Y'all just feel this anticipation um, and this, like, anxious, like, energy. There's And the wands are fast. You see how fast you are driving and how fast these wands are coming? They are ripping through the fucking clouds, bitch. <laughs> They are ripping through the clouds, literally. Like, this is all your blessings, your gifts, and messages from the, um, from uh, higher dimensional beings that's being sent to you. However, it seems like you all, either one, aren't focused on it, are distracted, two, or three, feel like Know that there is something that is coming. However, you are a little anxious or fearful of what it is that is coming. Y'all have been feeling like this anticipation energy because I'm feeling it right now in my solar plexus sacral chakra area. It's like y'all been feeling butterflies. Y'all don't know what the fuck is going on, right? Y'all just been feeling like there's some shit that is coming. Something's about to happen. And I don't know if I'm going to be ready for it. However, if you would just slow down meditate ground your energy i mean both of these cards are slow moving elemental cards water and fucking earth they are um the two slowest moving elements here okay the two densest elements okay opposed to fire and air and ether you know those elements are extremely fucking fast ether is the fastest one okay but yeah that's the importance Y'all don't know that y'all about to come upon y'all about to come upon a bag. Y'all about to come upon the life that y'all have always been desiring and wishing for, dreaming for, manifesting. It's here. I'm hearing that the reason why you all may be feeling like this anticipation or this anxiety is because that you know the world around you, you've been allowing it to kind of shake your energy a little bit, which is why the important this this card is coming out. They're telling you to take a seat. Just calm your energy down, cool it down, slow it down a little bit. So like meditation, definitely focusing your energy on um, one thing at a time as well as what I'm getting, especially with all these wands being here, focusing your energy on one thing at a time. Look at how she's focused on this cup. Look at how she is focused on this pinnacle. Well, she's not really looking at this pinnacle, but you can say she's looking at the pinnacle. Focusing your energy one on one thing at a time okay so let's see what is the benefit okay of you listening to this message and not hearing to it the eight of cups you all will be able to walk away um and intuitively know what you should put your energy into and what you shouldn't we have two eights here as well so definitely we got the strength card energy here too okay some of you all may be leos okay um Definitely, definitely, you all are how you you all would be led by your intuition. That's what I'm also feeling. That's what I was feeling. Yeah, I was feeling like you all um this anticipation and anxiety plus the things that's going on around around you, right in the world around you, right, has been throwing you 
off a little bit intuitively, which is why there's this message of slow down, slow down. And I'm hearing that you all may have been looking for guidance and was and are rushing to try to find some guidance. However, you're doing the wrong thing. You got to slow down, right? Y'all in y'all divine masculine energy of action. Let me go here. Let me do this. Let me try to focus on this. Let me try to do this. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Try to do this to try to connect. No, just calm down, slow down. Take it slow. Focus on one thing at a time. Um, I'm hearing like meditation, yoga, working out, doing something that focus your that focuses your energy. Because when you're focused on like something, that's when, you know what I'm saying, your mind isn't running so many different, you know what I'm saying, thoughts. It's focused. It's easier for messages to come through. Just think about these clouds as the thoughts, right? These are the messages and the guidance that your um that your um that these beings in space or from the higher realms or the higher dimensions is trying to send you, right? And um, it would come a lot easier if your thoughts or these clouds wasn't there. As you can see, these messages is trying to rip through um, all these thoughts. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot harder for them to speak to you and guide you when you have your mind running rampant, okay? So, the potential transformation, okay? Yeah, you got the Ace of Cups. We have so many cups here now. Ace of Cups, right? Ace of Cups, you'll feel calm. You'll feel grounded. And then we got this card here, do love as well. That's very interesting. I'm trying to see why that shit is here. But we have Ace of Cups. Definitely, like we said earlier, your gifts, dreams, blessings, everything that you've been wishing for and trying to manifest is about to um, be blessed upon you. It's about to materialize into your physical uh, reality, okay? Um, yeah, y'all just got to calm your emotions and calm y'all mind. I'm getting more so, it's kind of y'all emotions. Yeah, it's more so y'all emotions than y'all mind. Because there is not, not, a, not a lick of sword energy up in this bitch. It's all these cups. So calming y'all emotions. As you can see, Focusing on calming your emotions as well. She got one cup and we have the Ace of Cups here. Focusing on um, grounding your emotions, right? That's interesting because the first pal was talking about grounding your mind. This group is talking about grounding your emotions, okay? Let's see the advice here. Wow, yeah, the tower. Interesting. It's interesting how it's talking about grounding your energy, and then we have the tower card. What I'm getting is that you all may be focused on specific towers, uh, towers that's crumbling around you and um, wondering if you are next, you know what I'm saying, to crumble. Don't worry about that. The advice here is to allow whatever that's going to happen, fucking happen. Um, what I'm also hearing is that y'all are trying to run to save something. These um, wands could also be, you know what I'm saying, like this lightning bolt coming down because they are not even, as you can see here, these uh, wands not even really focused on hitting you. It's trying to hit something. It's trying to hit something, but it's not hitting you. And it seems like y'all are trying to rush to save what it's about to hit. And what it's about to hit is this tower. There is something in your life that is um, not serving you no more, which is why we also have the Eight of Cups here. You need to walk away from it, but you all have been trying to hold on to it because you have love for it, right? What, we hearing, what I'm hearing is do love. However, love from a distance, okay? God damn it, because where, where you're about to go, what you're about to do, what you're about to dabble in, okay? Whatever it is that you, you know what I'm saying, I have feelings for it or then got your emotions um, attached to can't go. It cannot, it cannot be a part of um, what you're about to, what you're about to get into, which is why the universe is coming through. I mean, I just want to let y'all know right now, it's about to take it out of your life. It, and it's probably doing it right now, right? Whether you like it or not, when you get the tower moment or the tower card, 
it's saying that the universe came through and it took it. Like there is no if, ands, or buts about it. It either is about to, it's doing it now, or it's going to take it out of your life because it's not serving you no more. Okay? So then we have space, do love, and star seeds. There could be some things that you uh have been doing that may have um uh, or been attached to that may have been um it could be a person too with all these cups here um relationships and all those sorts of things or whatever it is that you got emotionally attached to right um that has been blocking your energy right from connecting to the higher realms or being able to receive energy from the higher realms okay okay so i'm going to read this star uh c card to you all right now so it says know these few things here i was about to describe a star seed okay you feel different you're homesick for a place that you can't name and only partially remember hold on these ambulances are flying by I'm trying to see if they're coming down this street. Yeah, let me pause. Okay. Um, yeah. You're homesick for a place that you can't name and only partially remember. You have an insatiable thirst for hidden knowledge. Now, that's another reason why I was getting like that past life type of energy too. Because the star star key. Oh, uh, star seed card. What the fuck? Star star key? <laughs> star seed card. Yeah, they, there's messages that's trying to come in about your past that can definitely help you right now and potentially brighten your future, okay? Um, anyways, you have an uh, intellect, under, what? You have an instinctual understanding of metaphysics. You feel like an old soul, naturally. Um, you naturally have high intuition and tend to attract psychic and paranormal phenomena, highly sensitive to crowds and other energies. You all can have intense, vivid dreams as well. Yeah, especially with the Ace of Cups being here. Pay attention to your dreams because it can show you. It, it, it has the potential to bring you all um, an answer to something that you've been trying to, uh, to a question that you all can have are having for a minute. Um, you have a strong connection to the stars and the higher realms, okay? Definitely what I'm getting is that y'all need to Cleanse your space, cleanse your energy, slow down, look up to the stars, star bay, definitely, especially, okay, with these stars being up here above their heads, right? And then even here, like these little, these little things right here kind of remind me of stars. I don't know what the fuck that shit is, like sparks or something. They look like stars to me though. Yeah, but anyways... That, that is pretty much what I'm getting here from your, from your spirit, definitely. There's a lot of new energy coming in for y'all. Um, y'all just got to slow down, calm your emotions, and don't worry about it, okay? Because everything that's happening is happening for a reason, okay? There is something that you all have an emotional connection to that is about to be um, taken out of your life, but it is to make space for this beautiful, bigger thing that's coming into your lives. I mean, look at this feather. Look at this. You see how sparkly it is? You see how dazzling this feather is? Why do you think peacocks show off their feathers? Because it is captivating. And when they spread their feathers, it's like, it's huge. It is so beautiful. It is magnificent. That is how y'all are about to sprout. That's how y'all about to blossom. That's how y'all about to spread y'all wings. You know what I'm saying? There is so much that's coming in for y'all that's about to help y'all take flight in life. But y'all got to stop running from it. It's like in that other video that I did, I think it was messages from your soul. Yep, it's messages from your soul. And I think it might have been the third or the second group. I think it was the second second one. Um, Why are you running? <laughs> why are you running? Why are you, out of all people running, this is some shit that y'all manifested, okay? Y'all have manifested this shit. Y'all have definitely manifested it. And right now, the only all that's happening is that it's being given to you. It's coming into fruition. 
The spirit is trying to give it to you right now, but y'all don't recognize it because you know what I'm saying? It could be something um, that y'all either one, not used to, or two, are distracted from by this tower, okay? Which is why it's being destroyed um, by the universe or by God, okay? So with that being said, that's all I got for y'all. Love, light, peace, power, and abundance. I say, amen, and period. Hello, everybody. If you all chose group three, then this is you all's reading. So, this is how it's going to go. I'm going to shuffle this deck and get six cards, put them in my mixed six spread, okay? I always got to say it slow like that because I get tongue tied and I talk fast, you know? Um, put in my mixed six spread, and then um, after that, I'm going to get um, one oracle from each one of those decks. Um, for you all's reading, okay? I'm gonna shuffle off of camera though for the sake of fucking time, okay? All right, you guys, I'm here, I'm ready, I'm back. Let's get into it. So this first card here is gonna tell us, okay? It's gonna tell us, okay? Anyways, it's gonna tell, it, this is basically like the one and done type of question, okay? One and done type of card. It's gonna give us the overall message. It's gonna give us the message. What's 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 good? What 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 do we need to know? Okay, this card is going to tell us what is the importance of this message or why this message is important for you to know right now. This third card is basically going to give us like basically the help and uh, the help versus harm type of energy, right? That is around you right now. And then um, this card is going to tell us basically um, the benefit of you are applying this message to you all's lives and adhering to it. This card is going to tell us the potential transformation um, that you can undergo after applying, okay? And then this card is going to give us the advice over all these cards here. And then we have our Oracle cards here, okay? So let's go ahead and see what is you all's message. You all, The message from you all's spirit, because we have a full card here and we just said the full card, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much talks about the spirit or talks about your spirit or the essence of a being, okay? Right here, it says... Uh, we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups, okay? Some of y'all may be going through a dark night of the soul as well, too. And it seems like it's taking forever. Because one, we have a dark, we have a dark horse. I mean, I, I just noticed that um, looking at this uh, laptop. I just noticed that. But I was saying, uh, the original reason why I said dark night of the soul is because this was a knight and the card fell, you know what I'm saying? And what I heard was fall of the night, right? Fall of the night. So that's how I say you may be going through a dark night of the soul right now, right? Or doing some real heavy, deep shadow work for yourselves. But the message here is Knight of Pentacles. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Let something grow. I just heard that clear as day. Let it grow. I just seen that scene, um, that scene from that movie, uh, The Lorax. No, no, not The Lorax. Oh, shit, what is it called? No, it is The Lorax. It is The Lorax. It's at the end when, um, the boy, the grandma and the boy, the girl that the boy liked was, you know, trying to plant that, um, they was trying to plant that, uh, tree within the little biome that they was living in or whatever. Um... And they started singing that song, Let It Grow. You know what I'm saying? That 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 scene right there, that song had me crying like a motherfucker. All child, like, kid movies make me cry. Especially if they have a, a real deep... Because I see way past just the, the colors and shit. Or, like, the, the humor in these movies and shit. I get down to the nitty gritty. And that's what I'm seeing here. Spirit wants you to do that, too. Especially with this horse's eyes being like black as fuck y'all definitely maybe going through a night of dark night of soul um but look at how this night is focused on that fucking pinnacle like come on now um come on now come on now there come on get down to the nitty gritty looking at your life looking at the things that's happening in your life around you get down to the small when I say small details, I mean the small fucking details. They want you to look at every fucking reflection. They want you to look at every goddamn angle. Okay? 
Like they won't like when I say they, I'm talking about your higher self or you know your your spiritual team and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? The angels, whoever, your ancestors, past loved ones, your spirit or whatnot, right? Want you to look at your life from a with a with with great detail. There's something there that you need to see. And let's go ahead and see what that might be with this importance card. We have the seven pinnacles here. Definitely. Yet again, look, we have you sitting still and looking with great detail. This gives me Virgo energy. Looking with great detail. This is analyzation. This is um, practical thinking, okay? Definitely. This is you taking your time here. The reason why they want you to embody this energy is because there is something that that um there is some sort of growth in your life that you've missed what the fuck there is some sort of growth in y'all's life that y'all have missed um and spirit wants you your spirit wants you to uh, excuse me look at it look at it again take a deeper fucking look what do you see what do you see? And I'm hearing it's something that you recently may have just like uh, celebrated or something. You know what I'm saying? It, it was a victory for you. However, that victory was huger. It was bigger than you. Th it was bigger than you thought it was. Right. Because obviously, yeah, you probably probably celebrated it or, you know what I'm saying? It was like happy. Or proud of yourself. And for some reason, I am resonating with this group. I'm re I'm resonate I've resonated with all these groups, but there's like a magnetic pull. Like literally from my sacral and solar plexus chakras. Okay? Your belly. My belly area. Abdomen area. My abs, right? That area. It's like this magnetic pull towards this fucking table. There is something... Maybe y'all been feeling something like that too. Some type of alluring energy. Some type of like magnetic energy that's trying to pull you back um, to view something, right? Maybe it was a recent, definitely, it, it, it may be like a recent victory that you all had. Um, and that you all definitely... Like, you know what I'm saying? Gave yourself credit for or, you know, celebrated or whatnot. Um, however, they want you to look at it from a, another with, with greater detail. There is something hidden within there. There is something hidden within there. There's a very, very key piece of information, as you can see on the back of here. These keys. There's a huge key piece of information that... Spirit needs you to look at deeper. I don't know. What the hell? Some Y'all may, uh, while thinking on it and meditating on it, y'all may want to look at y'all plants. If y'all have plants, speak to y'all plants as well. I don't know why the plants are standing out. Maybe it's because it's all this earth energy. Maybe because these plants is huge. And maybe because these pentacles is on these plants. Right? And I have a huge ass plant, two of them, right behind this, right behind this camera, right here. I have them right there. Literally right there. Um mm -hmm. let's go ahead and move to this right here. Ten of Swords, okay? Definitely you all just had like some type of victory within you all's uh mental state, overcoming some type of Fucking fear, doubt, worry, dread, or whatever. Something in your subconscious mind. Yeah, dark night of the soul energy. Look at all that black gunk up there. And then this black fucking shit that is spilling out of her body. You know what I'm saying? It's something that y'all have mentally released. um, And that you've had a victory over. That you celebrated but you didn't, that you've celebrated? 
I'm hearing two things that you celebrated, right? But didn't celebrate good enough. <laughs> like you, you didn't do enough with that celebration. Also, um, what? Because what I'm hearing is like ritual or like <laughs> fucking like ceremony or something. Like you need this, 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 whatever it is that you just conquered. That was some shit. That was the stronghold of whatever. That was the stronghold. And what I mean by that is that the blockage, the karma. Oh, 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 I just felt that. Yo, there, I'm going to do some meditation after this reading. Because what the fuck? There is some type of karma. Okay. And then I knew I was getting like dark night of the soul with this. Because, you know, Earth, Capricorn energy, Saturn type of energy as well here um, with these Earth cards. There's some type of karma and lesson that you all have recently passed and learned and released and paid out. Um, that you all may have not seen or felt was like a big deal. And the reason why I'm getting like, oh, I just felt it again. This magnetic pull towards this, these, this table, these cards. The re I'm feeling like The reason why this thing that you just conquered is so important is because it's like some type of karmic debt that you finally paid out. However, the reason why I'm bringing up that you need to celebrate it more or that you didn't celebrate it good enough, right, is because you all don't realize and recognize that you all just paid out your karma. So you all probably still maybe, you know, feeling like a little like heavy, like, like some type of weight on your shoulders because you feel like you have to, you know what I'm saying? You still have to, you know, pay like out some type of karmic debt or like, you know what I'm saying? Have like this weight on you energy or like, it just feels like what I'm getting here is like, it seems like within your subconscious, Right. There is something that you all, maybe you all possibly doubt that you actually conquered or got rid of whatever it was that you needed to get rid of, right? Or handled whatever it is that you needed to handle in this lifetime. Maybe you all feel like it's too good to be true, which is why you all are also still sitting there just looking at the shit. Like, did, did I really do that? Did I do that, Steve Urkel? Did I do that? But no, for real, did you do that? Like, I'm hearing, like, there's that energy. Like, did I really just cut this person off? Did I really just conquer this demon? Did I really just connect with my higher self? Did I really just heal my um, shadow self? Did I really just do it? There's, like, this sense of doubt kind of coming in, especially with the Ten, uh, ten of Swords. Mm. And what I'm hearing is that there's nothing in you all's way. Wow, this shit is like pulling me the fuck in. And with all this blue here, this is throat chakra, baby. Everything I'm saying is truth. Everything that I'm saying is truth. Listen, there is nothing in y'all way anymore. That's why I was getting like that sat that Saturn energy, like karmic energy lesson that you have to learn before. You know what I'm saying? You can get what it is that you're trying to manifest. There's nothing else standing in your way. You're literally there. Like you're literally staring your blessings, your new life in the fucking face. Woo, baby. There is this energy that just came over me. Woo, let me, okay, let's just go here to the next card. Let's see, what is the benefit of you all you know what I'm saying? Adhering to this message and tapping into this message and applying this message to y'all's life. Wow. Wow, bitch. Okay, calm down, Devin. We have the Hierophant, but what the fuck just took me out is these fucking keys. You see them? Bitch, <laughs> these keys. It's these keys for me. I mean, because... It fucking stood out to me on the back of this motherfucking car. It wasn't even this car. It stood out to me on the back of the car. And it's funny how these fucking keys came back. I'm getting that, um, 
I don't think it's a verse. Maybe it is a verse, but you know, basically um, in Christianity, okay, they say something about Jesus going down to hell and taking the keys of life, right? I think it's the keys of life and death back from him and going to sit on his throne. Where are you sitting here? On your throne. You have a wand in your motherfucking hand. You have your crown, your throne, your loyal, loyal subjects and your empire. Oh, what the fuck is that behind her? This looked like a huge fucking mountain behind her. You know this thing, this right here? This thing behind her? This, like all this energy here in the background looks like a mountain. Y'all are reaching the pentacle of something. Y'all are reaching the peak of something. Y'all have reached the peak of something. Y'all life is at its peak, baby. There's nothing in your way. You have the keys to that locked door. You can unlock it and now walk through into your new life. You've broken every chain. You've unchained the door. You've unlocked the door. Unlocked the chains. Mm. The benefit of you all knowing this message here and applying this message to you all's life is you all's freedom. It's you all's power. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yet again, I'm getting this serpent energy with this scarf that she's wearing. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all kundalini energy. Do y'all feel it rising? Do you feel it rising, bitch? I'm, I'm not saying bitch to y'all, okay? I'm not saying it. I'm telling y'all that's how I talk when I'm like, Talking to myself. Because I know I'm talking to y'all, but I'm really just sitting here talking to a fucking camera. I'm talking to myself. Um, so please, whatever I say, bitch, do not mind it at all, okay? That's just how I be talking. I don't be calling myself, bitch. I don't be talking. I just be saying it, okay? That's my favorite word, too. You know what I'm saying? I just, I'll say bitch in a second. Um, like, okay, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, bitch, yeah. You know? Um, but I don't really say it to other people. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Or ish. I don't like saying the word bitch to other people. But when I'm alone and I'm just talking, you know, out loud, I'll be saying that motherfucker. So please don't, don't, don't mind me. Damn. There's tremendous balance coming in you all's life. Let's. <laughs> okay. And it's funny how we have this don't rely on others card. And then in literally all these four cards so far, because this card just called me and I just looked at all these cards. Hold on. Let's get some order with this shit. She's alone. She's alone. She is alone channeling whatever the message is and shit to give to these people. She's doing it all by herself. And she is alone. Now, where the fuck does all this shit go? Um, where the fuck this is? I don't know. This girl here. Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and get to this fifth card. Let's see the potential transformation. Um, if you all was to apply this message and tap into the, uh, apply this message to your life and tap into this message's energy. Oh, come on now. Come on. We have the 10 of fucking pinnacles. This is my reading. This is mine. I don't know about y'all, but this is my shit. Okay? This is my shit. Mm, get money. She a bad mother. <clears throat> okay, come on now. Damn. Uh, she a bad motherfucker. What ass on her? Let me stop. Come on now. Get money. That's what you doing. That's what's about to happen. Everything is aligning. Everything is aligning. Oh, my God. Down on earth and in the heavens. Oh. Bitch. The potential transformation is everything that you've been wishing for and dreaming of and creating and manifesting in the higher realms. 
finally reaching and manifesting and just fucking permeating through all areas of your fucking life down here on earth. I mean, that's confirmation. That is confirmation. Okay? That sound you just heard, confirmation. Let's look here at the advice over this page of pentacles. The page of pentacles. We have the nine of pentacles after a message. Then we have the page of pentacles. Now, when it comes down to the um, court cards, there is levels to that shit, right? First is the page or the princess. Then it's the knight or the prince. Then it's the queen and then the king. Even though I would prefer it to be the knight, then the princess, then the king, then the queen. You know. <laughs> Anyways. Do you see how it digressed the energy or the position? Do you see how it digressed? Even the, the tone and color. This is like a golden yellow. Well, this is like yellow. This is kind of like gold over here. The sky, at least. Gold or like Orange. This is like gold and yellow. This is like gold and orange. There we go. Okay. Because both of them look like gold to me. Fuck. Um, what I'm getting here is that spirit, spirit, okay, wants you to pay so much attention. Like, look at how hard she's looking at this pentacle. Look at these people. All these people are focused on some shit. Oh my God, I gotta collect all these cards, bitch. Look at who the fuck she looking at. You. She like, you need to recognize, realize who the fuck you are. Right? Look at how they focused on looking at her. And look at how she's focused on looking at the fourth wall at y'all, right? Everybody has something that they're focused in looking at. These dogs down here, are focused in looking at her. She's focused in looking at them. The baby and this girl is focused in looking at her. She's focused on looking at them. She is focused on these uh, on this phone and these swords is focused on her ass. <laughs> okay, this horse definitely is focused. I mean, look at his eye. Oh my God. And then she's focused on this pentacle and she is focused on this pentacle. What I'm getting though here is the how the um cards how the energy or at least the position downgraded it's not even like it's a downgrade it's like well yeah it kind of downgraded right what i'm getting is this is the energy we started with this is the first card that we started with this is the last card what i'm getting is that your spirit wants you to pay so much attention to the victory that you just had that they want you to get off of your horse. Okay, they didn't want no movement. Even though this horse was not fucking... Was not fucking um, walking. I mean, you know, it looks like it's not walking. But it's like... It's like... Type of energy, right? Like moving extremely slow. Right? Um, Because the knights represent all... The knights represent... Um, movement, action of some sort. So even though it looks like it's not moving, it is moving, okay? They want you to stop moving altogether. They want you in full divine feminine energy. Full divine feminine energy. They don't. They need you to meditate, meditate on that victory because there is something that you missed. There's one, a specific message that you missed. And two... Um, y'all don't understand. Y'all don't. Y'all don't truly like see that victory for what it is, right? So they need you to slow everything down to almost a fucking halt to see the beauty of what you just conquered and the the freedom that you just granted yourself over the rest of your entire fucking life. Oh my god. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They don't want you to ask nobody for no advice. Rely, don't rely on others. You, they need you to see it. They don't want other people to help you see it. They don't want somebody else to see it and then you see it, right? No. They want you to see what you done because they want you to believe in the power that is you. 
They want yo yo fucking spiritual team wants you to understand, 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 and gain the knowledge. Okay. Within this situation, within this victory that you just fucking conquered, they want y'all to get it. They want you to get that you did this by yourself. You by yourself alone did this shit and now there is nothing standing in the way no, I, when I say baby when I say nothing I mean nothing standing in your way when it comes down to the quality of life that you wish and have been manifesting and desire Let's look at this Archangel Raguel card, okay? Because I almost forgot that y'all had Archangel Raguel, Raguel card connected to Sagittarius. I don't know if this Archangel is connected to this angel for real. I did some a little research and, you know, they were saying that this angel was connected to him, uh, to that Zodiac. So, you know, here we go. This Archangel is more chilled and quiet. Um, Excuse me. All these cards... All these earth cards. This is an earth elemental card too. This hierophant. Because this is uh, connected to Taurus. Okay. The only other element is fucking air. Which is the opposite element of earth. They don't want you moving fast. They want you to slow that shit all the way down. They want you to see the shit to, to the finest detail. When I say the finest thing. Big. I mean. They want you to get in there. They want you to see it like this. A little bit closer. They want you all the way up in there. They want you to see what the fuck is going on. Okay? They want you to see what the fuck you just did for yourself in your life. You all see it. I mean, I'm feeling this energy too. I'm definitely about to go back and try to see what the fuck they're talking about. You all see it as like a minor victory when that is the biggest victory. One of the biggest victories in your life. You all have conquered you all's demons. You all have conquered the stronghold within yourself. Let's read this. It says, this archangel is more chilled and quiet. All these energies is quiet. Ain't nobody talking. Ain't nobody talking. Um, Maybe in this um ten of cups here. You know what I'm saying? But ain't nobody talking for real. Mm. Chilled and quiet. He works when we're not aware of his presence. Are you fucking serious? Check that shit out. Y'all did not. Uh, Y'all wasn't aware of how huge this fucking victory was. Archangel Raguel, um, or at least this energy, probably worked with you all. You know what I'm saying? This is just confirmation on what I've just channeled and told y'all. Um. He works when we're not aware of his fucking presence. He brings certainty and confidence to us about ourselves, who we are, and our journeys. That's why earlier I kept getting like this doubt energy, right? And why, you know, these people sitting here um, looking around, you know, and staring at shit like, did I do that? Did I literally just do that? Is this is this for real? Did I seriously just conquer this, right? It says he helps us to set up alignment to peace, joy, wisdom, and love, okay? Y'all spirit had a message for y'all ass. I like how, and that's confirmation, I like how the sky kind of just lit up because it, it goes right with what the fuck I was about to say. There's nothing standing in your way no more. Y'all have totally eradicated, disintegrated. Is that the right word? Disintegrate? Disintegrate? Disintegrate. I think that's the right word. Y'all eliminated, dissolved, disintegrated. You know, all the blockages in your life. At least the blockages that's been um, keeping you from manifest, uh, manifesting this huge, 
huge fucking uh thing that y'all have been dreaming of for years, okay? Y'all just unblocked it. And the importance of this message, okay, is because the quality of your life is about to change. The importance of this message for you all is that the real reason why this is so important and why your spirit is bringing this up at this time right now is because if y'all didn't hear this message, y'all would have kept going on and thinking, you know, questioning and doubting yourself and being uh, double-minded about um, whether you actually conquered it or not, right? Which would have led you, you know what I'm saying, into allowing that energy back in and allowing it to conquer you. Mm. Ooh. Y'all, my uh, chakras feel very fucking open, let me just say. <laughs> I feel lightheaded. I'm going to have to take a break. A uh, real nice, sweet little break after this. Um, that being said, love, light, peace, power, and abundance to you all. I shame. Amen. And period. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, you guys. Okay? And don't forget to turn the notification bell on as well. Okay? Peace in the middle, motherfucking East, baby. <laughs>